for this penultimate episode of my 10 favorite places to photograph along the ring road in Iceland, let's head off to Snefelsnes. The Snæfellsnes Peninsula is an absolutely must-see when traveling to Iceland. Even for a three-day trip, you should visit the Little Iceland, so-called because most of the country's typical natural sites can be seen. And it's only a two-hour drive away from Reykjavik. In this relatively small area, there are at least four of the most iconic locations of Iceland. But there is much more to discover and explore if you can take your time. Kirkjufell is probably one of the most photographed places on earth. This incredible scenery has become famous with Game of Thrones, which is the major reason so many people come to see it. I haven't watched the TV series, but as a photographer it's a pretty unique spot as in one single picture, the composition is filled with the waterfall in the left foreground, the mountain in the right background, and the stream flowing across the scenery towards the ocean. Plus, it's both a sunrise and a sunset spot. Majestic in summer, with all the greens, blues and yellows, and mystical in winter when the cascade and stream are frozen and the mountain covered with snow. There are several positions from which you can capture the scenery, but you will almost never have the place for yourself. There is always someone walking into your frame and it's tough to get a clean shot as a constant flow of people arrive and go. We witnessed the usual stupid behavior of some visitors, obsessed by their selfie shots. Here it seems obvious that the ice layer could break at any time. The results of this kind of behavior is the appearance of more prohibitions and ropes preventing us from closer approaching. It's always the same story, shamelessly and egoism of some lead to constraints for all. When getting bored by that, I escape the area and walk around the small lagoon, which offers in winter some nice ice patterns. Much more peaceful than the crowded area, isn't it? I usually don't stay much longer after sunrise, before the flow of more people arrive. The drive around the peninsula is epic in winter, with the wind gusts blowing the snow over the road by passing the Snæfellsnes Jökull volcano, made famous by Jules Verne in Journey to the Center of Earth. Our next stop is Londranga. The basalt cliffs offer a raw and wild scenery along the turbulent ocean. Whether it is in summer or winter, Londranga is mainly a sunset spot. Few miles further, you will reach Arnachstabi, a small fisher hamlet surrounded by cliffs, ducked by the erosion of the waves. The most iconic one is an arch, perfectly aligned to catch the sunrise. The southern part of Snæfellsnes offers more wild and cut coastlines, swept by strong winds, where you can walk along to discover this raw piece of nature. Our final stop will be the Black Church of Budir. 
it has become in the last years a very popular spot for photographers and for good reasons. Surrounded by a rough nature, this minimalistic object and its black color makes a great contrast with the mountains in the background. People from all over the world come to get married here. It's so romantic. In winter, the area can get slippery and the wind gusts add even more instability. There are several different foregrounds to use to catch a good photograph. But my favorite experience was that night when the northern light appeared, giving even more mystical atmosphere to Buddha Kirkya. Whatever your cultural references are, Game of Thrones or Jules Verne, you will keep from your visit to Snefelsness unforgettable memories. <laughs>